In this video, I'm going to show you how to correct perspective distortion in your image using a tool called Guided Upright. I'll primarily be showing how this technique works while using Lightroom Classic, but it works just the same in Lightroom. And I'll jump over to that program to show you how to get it set up there as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have this photo here and what happened was I was on a boat when I took this picture. So I was unable to actually kind of stand straight on to the scene to make it so that the window doesn't look like it's slanted. Sometimes a simple crop can help to kind of balance out a photo. But if I jump over to that crop tool using that R key, if I rotate it to try to make that bottom portion of that area level, it doesn't really help with the rest of the photo. So I'm going to escape out of that. And instead, what I want to use is guided upright. To access the guided upright tool, go into the transform panel on the right and then click that little icon there in the very top. This gives you a little cursor that you can use to draw over your photo. A quicker way to access this tool is with the keyboard shortcut Shift T. That allows you to jump to that guided upright tool without having to open up that panel. Now what I want to do is find the areas in my image that I want to be perfectly vertical and horizontally level. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And you simply just draw over your image to create this effect. So I'm going to hover at the top there. And then you can see that you have a little pop up. So you can actually be really precise with where you're clicking. I'm just going to click and drag. And I just want to drag this line. So it's on that line Then I'm going to do the same on the right. And I'll click on this part here and drag it down. Now the vertical lines were already pretty upright. So I don't have to worry about those too much, but you still want to add those lines in your photo. If you have a photo similar to this next, I just need to find the areas that have a horizontal plane that I want to be level. So I'm going to click at the bottom here of this window cell, drag it across, and then I'll just release. Now you can see that it warped the photo a little bit. So I still need to add one more reference point here, a reference line in this image. And I'm going to take this plank here, just kind of right in between it, click and drag, and then just kind of move it all the way to the right. I could try to level it with that one on the right and let's see what that does. That's actually not too bad. Now, if you want to change any of them, you can just click and drag to kind of reposition them. But if I were to try to add another line, let's say I'm just going to kind of randomly add one here, I'm going to get an error that says the maximum number of guides is four. So you can only add four. And I highly recommend that you do add as many as you can, because it's really going to help to kind of balance out the scene. So let's take a peek at what this looks like. If I use that little toggle in the transform tool, I can see that it's really balanced out that scene quite well. If you find that it added a little bit of distortion and it's going to be a lot more noticeable with people, you can play around with the aspect slider. This is going to kind of help squeeze or stretch your image. This photo actually turned out really well with the guided upright uh, setting. So I don't need to play around with that aspect. But if you do find that your image is a little bit warped in one way or the other or stretched funny, play around with that aspect slider to correct it. Now let's take a look at this tool inside of Lightroom Mobile. So you want to be in the edit module and then you want to go down to the geometry panel. You'll see a drop down that says upright. So I'm going to change that to guided. And when I do that, that gives me the option to actually create those manual lines. So then you simply just drag those lines just like I did in Lightroom Classic to kind of help correct for that distortion. This image looks like it could use a little bit of aspect ratio adjustment. So I'm going to take that aspect slider and just bring it up just a touch to kind of balance it out. If you have other uses for the guided upright tool, please share them in the comments because I'd love to know how you use this tool on your photos. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to see more videos just like this. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.